And welcome to your gold market update charts of the day for today, the 10th of May 2023. Mike's missing it, honestly, gold markets here. Leading you around what's happening in early Asian trading today. Of course, we had a soft session on Wall Street in a choppy low range session, suggesting some caution before today's inflation number, which is due out before US market open this evening. And we also had some hawkish Fed member comments that suggested that interest rate rises if inflation doesn't drop or not off the table yet. And of course, we've got further earnings to come throughout the week. US futures are slightly above neutral in Asia, but Asian markets are mildly lower in early trading following that weaker US lead. The ASX is trading around about a quarter of a percent lower. And European futures are also pointing to a cautious open with the VIX around 19 which has been in a really tight range over the last few days. US dollar index was up slightly yesterday. Goals up and may test 2050 if there's some momentum behind it. It is up slightly today so far. Copper's range band below the 200 MA on the, on the daily chart or move higher again towards a potential short-term key price point. In the crypto space, Bitcoin is holding support at 27,000 remains within a $3,000 range this stage. US earnings, of course, continue today. Markets thinking will be dominated by CPI numbers, particularly out of the US, but also Germany this afternoon. So we'll expect some movement in the euro later on today. Also, of course, bear in mind that there is big data out over the next couple of days. We've got the BOE rate decision tomorrow with the US weekly jobs also due. Just a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. We're going to start in the Forex world with the GB pound Aussie dollar, you can see on the daily chart, after this pullback we've had over the last few days, down to around this sort of 185.40 level, we've had a little pickup both yesterday and in early today, which has taken us back up to resistance at around about 186.70. If we get some momentum behind this, then we could see it move higher over the course of the next few hours. If we look on the hourly chart, you'll see the potential there. We're just going to raise this level up to yesterday's high at 186.92. So really, we're looking for a breach of 187. If it does so, we think there's possibly 50 or 60 pips up to around about this 187.60 level before it will hit a pause. So one to keep an eye on over the next few hours, certainly. On the ASX, we're looking at Mesoblast Limited, uh, ticker code MSB. Uh, these guys are in stem cell research and applications. You can see there we've had another strong day, a strong day yesterday, pushing through the 200 MA. And you can see further consolidation today on that move to the high side. If it breaches 108, which we think is an important level, then we could see this up possibly in the first instance around about 8.5% up to 117.5, 118 just bear in mind today, of course, that inflation data is likely to move markets significantly. So it's worthwhile bearing in mind in some new decision making going forward. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.